It's a great pleasure to have you here in the Parliament, Mr. President. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Great pleasure. Merci beaucoup. The President of the Republic of India. Ladies and gentlemen, I am indeed delighted to be with the honorable uh, members of the European Parliament on the occasion of the Golden Jubilee year of the European Union. I am reminded of the dream of an Indian poet, Kanyan Pungundranar, who articulated in 3000 years back in Tamil classic Purananur. He says, Yadum Ure Yavarin Kelir, which means, I am a world citizen. Every citizen is my own kith and kin, he said 3,000 years back. Now what we need is a carrier of eternal goodness and wholesomeness in human contact, which is called righteousness, righteousness. As you say in India, where there is righteousness in the heart, where there is righteousness in the heart, there is beauty in the character. When there is beauty in the character, there is harmony in the home. When there is harmony in the home, there is harmony, there is an order in the nation. When there is order in the nation, there is peace in the world. <clears throat> oh, European Union, oh, European Union, let your mission spread everywhere like the air we breathe. That's a point. Uh, finally, finally, friends, let me convey my greetings of one billion people of my country to all the honorable members of the European Union and through you to all the citizens of European Union countries. May God bless you all. Mr. President Abdul Kalam, in the name of the European Parliament, I want to thank you for this important and inspiring speech. This was one of the most extraordinary speeches we have ever heard. From a statesman, scientist and poet. This is unique. All the best to this great nation, India. All the best to our cooperation between the great nation, India, and the European Union. All the best, Mr. President.